Okay, so uh, Jamie, the, the point of this demonstration is to show what we call creep relaxation. Uh, in French, that would be fluage, and it's basically the loss, the percentage of bolt torque loss uh, when a gasket is uh, subjected to pressure and temperature. In this case, we're talking about uh, just compress and load. All right, so we're going to compare competitor A, which is a modified Teflon uh, sheet because Teflon has the worst creep relaxation characteristic of any type of gasket, but you need it for chemicals. You need it to, to resist uh, some temperatures and so on and so forth. The problem being is it has no memory. So the creep relaxation percentage is 81% for Teflon. So what this is, is it looks like Teflon, that's the product that you're using now in your plant, and uh, it is modified with what they call an HS10 method to, to uh, align the molecules and fillers so that there's body both ways and to stop that creep relaxation characteristic. In this case, it's about 15 to 20 percent. Your problem, as you had explained it, is that you cannot get access to the condensate area of your boiler, you want a gasket that will never creep. And that's why we have Top Chem 2000, which is the next step up from that HS10 modified manufacturing process. It is a silicon carbide filler. The key to this product is, it's, it's obviously Teflon, silicon carbide, but the filler is concentrated at the center of the gasket and the surface is more Teflon than filler. That's the big secret. This is the single best gasket under 500 degrees on the market today. It will not creep. You will never have to go back in and change it. Okay, so let's prove this. Uh, you, uh, if you could start installing your gasket on that end, I'll put the Top Chem 2000 here. Okay, so as I say, no smoke and mirrors. What we do to one, we do to the other. So we're basically just going to install these gaskets and we are going to whoops, torque them according to the competitive or the manufacturer for your product recommendations based on the 30,000 PSI bolt stress. So we're using ring type gaskets, they're 1 8. So what I want to make sure of, Jamie, is that our flanges are aligned and that there is no gasket visible. This will stop it and that's why they changed the, the Kruger plant uh, out there. Alright, so if you want to grab a wrench, I'll start off, I'll start us off. We're going to start, we're going to go to, sorry, uh, 25 foot-pounds, 50 foot-pounds, end up at 65 according to the competitors installation instructions. We'll wait 15 minutes with heating pan, uh, bands on it and reject it up. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so if you don't mind holding on to that, let's see if we can... Oh, there's one of tick. Oh, okay, you're here to click. Okay, now good practices, cross. Okay, 25 foot pounds of torque. Okay, can you help me on my side now, please? Top temp 2000. There we go. All right, so let's go to 50. Back at this one again. Okay. Now you start to get some resistance. Yep. Okay. Get 
travel. Mm -hmm. oh, Okay. All right. Top cam again. Now, and once we've done this third, this is all according to the Fluid Sealing Association. These are the these are the, the booklet will tell you how to install these gaskets according to everybody that manufactures gaskets. Okay, now we're at 50 foot pounds. Okay, we're seeing any movement uh, on your end? No? No. Nope. No light yet? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go. The full 65. This is according to the catalog for the manufacturer of that product. Okay, let's start again. See how hard you're going to work if you buy the white gasket? Just saying. Well. Okay. So, and the reason why I was talking about the Fluid Sealing Association, they also say that, no cross. Okay. Okay, now that we've done our three passes, they want us to go around one. So we're gonna give it a minute. Okay, we go not cross anymore, we go once around. Those are the rules according to the Fluid Sealing Association. So let's just go once around the block. Remember, we got no pressure, no temperature yet. Wait a minute, that clicked, you know what I mean? Yeah. See the travel? Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. He's ready. Okay, start. Hey, start here. Wherever. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of travel there. Okay, you're starting to see, eh? Wow. Immediately a big difference. Right. This is all mechanical. The gasket's job is to fill the imperfections in the surface of the flange and to stop. That's what the top cam does. As I mentioned earlier, the filler densified at the center allows soft material on either side to fill those voids of Teflon. Okay, so we're going to set these okay, to 100. Okay, let's go back up to 100 degrees. Okay, lay that here, and this wraps thusly. So we're going to give this, I'm going to say, 10 minutes. And what we're doing here is simulating turning a coupon on. So it's heating up. Our gaskets are being compressed. Now it's the body of the gasket. Does it have any memory? Can it bite against the load? Okay, we're not dealing with hydrostatic enforcer or anything like that. We're just talking about bolt load. And now, as you said, as we discussed yesterday, <coughs> You can't get into that area. Gasket fails, what, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars to go in there and change a gasket? So it's very important that you are a hundred percent sure and can sleep at night that that is not going to creep and leak. Okay, the number I guess we discussed the includes production and lost time and, and manpower and all the rest of it. Because these materials are expensive. Both. Uh, obviously, the top cam would be a step above, but uh, these are the cream of the crop. 
So if you're going to have to put that kind of money out because of your circumstance, uh, Top Chem 2000 is the way to go. Okay, so let's, uh, let's grab a coffee. We'll take a few minutes, let it uh, heat up, and uh, we'll come right back to it. We've been at what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes away? Okay. Uh, again, it doesn't matter. What we did to that one, we did to that one. All right, so in the exact same, what happened? Is it oozing out like that? Okay, so we'll take the, the heaters on. Okay, so, moment of truth. Let's check the torque. All right, like I mentioned at Wyagamac, they have to send a guy to the mill to do what we're about to do on every flange and gasket that was installed. Okay, so, here we go. Okay. Five. No more cross. I think we lost some dirt. Okay. This is what John's doing in the plant all bloody day. on that end. See what happened here. Hmm. See the travel? Or right. a half an inch? Yes. Which one do you want to put in that condensate line? put it there. Here you can see the grooves. The gasket filled the voids in the imperfections of the flange and stopped. Top Chem 2000. Here you go. I wanted to show you. So uh, now it comes down to brass tacks. What I'll do is I'll take that drawing that you sent me, re-quote it in Top Chem 2000 and we'll go from there. Thank you Gary. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your help.